So I found a new framework for making 3D iPhone and iPad uh, games. It's called Cocos 3D. And if you're previously a 2D game developer with Cocos 2D, uh, you'll find that Cocos 3D, um, the API is very similarly structured um, and because of that it's going to be pretty easy to uh, learn how to use. Uh, it's free, you know, other than the Apple iOS licensing, you don't have to buy a Cocos 3D license. Um, you know, most 3D game frameworks for the iPhone are payware and uh, they're really quite expensive. So, uh, if you are familiar with Cocos 2D, I think that you'll find Cocos 3D quite nice. So, to start, uh, in the README, it shows you how to install. Uh, just a quick uh, note about this. The first time I tried to install, uh, I didn't put sudo or sudo. Uh, they don't tell you that you need to, but I would suggest, you know, if you get a uh, permission denied anywhere during the installation in your terminal, put sudo in front and you should be good to go. Uh, I'm running Cocos 2D 1.1 which is in beta and so if you go down further in the readme it tells you what you need to do uh, to make you know different versions of Cocos 2D work with Cocos 3D because Cocos 2D is required for it. Uh, you know, so di But anyway different versions uh, require different configurations in order to work but it's not terribly difficult to do um, so once you have that already and Cocos 3D is installed, you can uh, go into Xcode and they have a Cocos 3D project template. And so if you go ahead and do that and just create a project like you would anything else, um, and uh, once you're here we can get started. Uh, so I'm in the Cocos 3D test world um, file for this tutorial and what we're going to be doing is just kind of play around with what's going on in here. Uh, all, it, all it does currently is it's, it's some spinning 3D hello world text in red with some light so you can see how there's like special reflections and like shadowing and stuff like that. It's very cool. Without much code you can do this and I will show you kind of how it works here. So we have a camera and that's what actually um, gives us this perspective on the 3D world. Um, we have a lamp which is actually what's providing the lighting um, you know so for example if I got rid of this line of code that adds the lamp to the uh, camera um, and ran this we'll see that there is little to no light and you can kind of barely see that text there. So yeah, that, that's the camera and lamp. Uh, the next thing is, by default, they have included a hello world.pod file in our resources folder. And that's just a converted Blender uh, 3D format optimized for the iPhone that just has, it contains our hello world 3D text. And so here, it's loading that 3D um, uh, graphic file and uh, so that we can use it. And further down here, uh, we are actually making use of that. And uh, down here, it's running our animation, our rotation animation. So that's right here. And then further down, uh, we have something that's actually changing the color of the text as it as it rotates. Uh, so you'll notice that it starts off red and then it's purple and then it's red again. So for example if I got rid of all this code here um, and make sure that our light is back, there we go, so we, ha we can see everything. Yeah, so now our text should remain red at all times, and also we have a light back. And likewise, if we uh, tried removing this bit of code, running it, 
that will get rid of our rotation and we'll see that the text will remain static and that's pretty much all I have for this tutorial uh, it's really a basic introduction just kind of showing you what you have in Cocos 3D by default um, and kind of how to install it and uh, yeah stay tuned for more uh, tutorials on this I find it really interesting uh, if you're on Tumblr, uh, please follow me. Uh, it's ConnorDemon.com. Or if you're not on Tumblr, you don't have to be. Uh, you know, I post tutorials on there all the time and various information. Uh, and then on Twitter, it's at ConnorDenman. If you like this video or any of my other videos, please subscribe to me on YouTube. It's much appreciated. There will be more tutorials to come, more in depth ones, blah, 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 other concepts and frameworks and what have you. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you